Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the SWA here in the LA Memorial Sports Arena in Los Angeles, California. I am your commentator for the night, the Sonic Bulls, and we've got an incredible show for you. We kick things off with the world's heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not watched our recent pay-per-view, do so now as it was an incredible tournament and we have crowned our first ever national champion. Now then, let's hear what Cody has to say. What conspiracy? To be honest, I hope so. Corinth thinks there's a conspiracy going on. This man. Well, wow. he's saying he didn't attack Carmelo, but I hardly believe this man. Take too kindly to that. He did not take too kindly to the denial of the trios match later on tonight. Here it is, Aztec Love Machine in the building. You know, I would be cheering right now, but this is dirty. This is downright dirty. Oh yeah! The Cranskins are here, and they're chasing off. Oh, oh. Hey, all three of them, get out of here. This might be an unholy alliance here. Oh man, the Cranskins are here. Cord is looking at him. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a great show for you as Alder does one-on-one -on -one with Miko Asada. Liz Crawford takes on Molly Murphy. And then, well, we have an incredible opening contest starting right now as it's Al Fantasmo taking on Johnny Unleashed. The real headbanger. The showstopper. El Fantasmo is back in the building, folks. ELP has attacked Johnny Unleashed numerous times at this point. And the Mayhem before Ultimate 8, after the first round victory over Chris Bay, he's going to do it again after he defeated Nick Awesome in the semis. But well, guess who? Awesome Scott. Johnny, now Johnny gets his chance at revenge. But ELP isn't the only person on his mind. He made it to the finals of the Ultimate 8 tournament before his former tag team partner, Theodore Logan, came out and curb stomped him. As a result, it costed him not only the tournament win, but the championship title. A lot at stake in this matchup as we begin now, folks. ELP and Johnny Unleashed. Johnny Unleashed, big kick to the chest there. ELP goes into the ropes. Big move reversed by Unleashed. You know, ELP is probably one of the best juniors I've seen in New Japan. This man has won multiple best of the super juniors, has won that golden jacket numerous times. Well, here in SWA, it's a little bit of a different playing field. So you gotta go up against some of the best and brightest talent. Up to there, and there it is. Big move by Unleashed. And now, oh man, ELP's got him in a headlock. Big drop toe hold by Johnny Unleashed. You know, ever since, uh, ever since losing uh, the uh, tag team partner, Johnny Unleashed has become something of his own self here. This man has made a uh, man a mark for himself. Has done very well. Even got to the finals. If it wasn't for Theodore Logan. We could be seeing Court versus uh, Johnny Unleashed for the SWA World's title, but instead we have the the <laughs> I don't even want to say his name, but I'm gonna Aztec Love Machine. Oh man, first forcing Panama AC and, and Delgado to join him in a stable, and now well this. Here we go. We're in a scruffle here. ELP and Johnny Unleashed chopping one another. And it looks like ELP gets the upper hand. Come on! ELP in control of the match here. As, well, unfortunately for ELP, uh, Unleash gets control early on. And now, trying to go for a move there, but stops. Very slow and methodical at this point in the match here. It, it could go either way. Big move there by Johnny Unleashed. He does it again. And now able to do another Hurricane Rana there. Johnny Unleashed is on fire. Leg drop. ELP no sells it. He gets up. ELP into the corner. Johnny Unleashed again with the reversal. There you see it, folks. Next week on Mayhem. It's the Playama Playboys taking on the Cranston's in tag team action. And that's not all in your main event. Aztec Love Machine takes on Corin for the SWA World Heavyweight Championship. That is going to be a good one, folks. Big shot by ELP. And then here we go, unleashed again with that cartwheel Hurricane Rana. Yeah. Big slap into an NG Gurry. Right now, here we go. Out the ring goes Johnny Unleashed. One. Two. Referee's counting, count of two. Johnny is back in. Ah. ELP, big elbow there. Ah. Elbows on elbows. And now reversal there by Unleashed. And now Unleashed is in the corner by ELP. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. ELP now. He's showing off here. Look at this. What is this? Oh, come on. Absolutely dirty, man. Johnny Unleashed is not happy with that one at all as we begin back to square one 
with the he with the headlocks and the takeovers and the holds. Big suplex there by ELP. And now, oh man, that looks like a little bit of a modified stretch plum here. If I unleashed, I can't tell. Cameraman did his good job here as always. Cameraman, shout out Johnny the cameraman as well. Also named Johnny. Here we go, in the corner goes Unleashed. ELP has him right where he wants him. And now ELP, a little bit of old school. What the hell? This man doing a moonwalk on the ropes. What is this? What is this? Hurricane Rana. That's El Phantasma for you, oh my lord. Another cartwheel hard to run by Johnny Unleashed. At least trying to take control. There's that submission hold again. Now ELP able to break in. Ah, oh, come on. Absolutely dirty. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That, my friends, is the sudden death super kick. Only a count of two. ELP fighting back. Now unleashed. Is in trouble as five minutes have officially gone by in this match. As a uh, V trigger connects, and now ELP looking to do something here. Moonsault! Beautiful moonsault by El Phantasma. Now, here we go. Kind of 16. Back in the ring, and the shots are going wild. Two, three, four. Oh, both men are now getting angry. At least, start out, Diamond Cutter. Diamond Cutter. This man absolutely shocked me with that one. As now, at least, is fighting back here. But ELP able to gain control again. As now, ELP. Oh, man. Able to reverse his Unleash, and now what's Unleash doing here? Oh, ho, ho, code red from the imprint. Two, three, two, five, Absolutely six, incredible. Seven, Johnny eight, Unleashed nine, and ELP are having a great eight, opening contest nine, here on SWA Mayhem. 15, 15, so to come, ladies and gentlemen, we got Miko Asada, the young aspiring athlete here. You know, Claire to Wonderful has been watching her over the past month, month or months now. So, whatever's gonna happen there. Oh my God! What was that? Here we go! Homing target! One, two, three, two and a half. Not gonna do it. Big slap there by Johnny Unleashed. Oh my God, tilt a world DDT. And ELP just punching him in the gut where it hurts. And now ELP, Stutter, stunt on billionaire, reversal. Absolutely wild. Here it is, Project X. ELP might be dead here. One, two, three, it's over. Johnny Unleashed. And EOP put on a hell of a bout here to kick things off here on SWA Mayhem. Unleashed, hell of a win. Oh, he's getting on the mic. What does he have to say now? We might have ourselves a pay-per-view match here. What the hell?
Absolute coward. Sending some random guy named Alex Carter after him. Johnny Unleashed isn't scared. He isn't scared. We got ourselves a match at Crimson. Ladies and gentlemen, if you missed the Ultimate 8 pay-per-view, go check it out now. A lot of things have happened, like the return of Ryan Lusk and the debut of Malcolm Black. The turn of the century. A lot more. Aztec Love Machine. There you see it. The new national champion in all. Ladies and gentlemen, up next though, we have ourselves a huge women's match as it's time for honor. Take it on, Miko Masada. Miko Masada recently lost the player to Wonderful in the last surprise. Thanks to a distraction from honor, she looks to get back at honor here tonight. Also the debut match of honor. Should be a good match here, folks. Miko Asada, the bright young Joshi wrestler from Japan, is here. The Queen Tub. You've got a lot of other people here that are from the great nation of Canada who just don't give a shit and just absolutely fight to beat the living hell out of each other. That's what Honor does, folks. Honor and the Queendom look to take over this place. I mean, they already got the SWA Women's Championship. They're looking to beat the hell out of everybody in the roster to show that they are the ones in control, so. Oh my lord. Meanwhile, Honor able to get out of it into a cover. Miko Asada in control. Oh, call, uh, test of strength here. Big drop kick by Miko. Like I said, Miko is a bright young athlete. I guarantee you she will have her time. But will it be tonight? Will she uh, start to uh, take over, if you will, tonight? Will she fall to honor? And we'll find that out here shortly as well. Near the end of the match, we're gonna see who has the stamina, the grit, to beat the living crap out of one another. Here we go. Uh-oh, Cravate, sleeper hold, into a submission, honor able to reverse it. Ouch! Big kick there by honor. Honor now, going right after Miko. In the head, headlock. You're down with that headlock, I should say. Now, here we go. Irish hook to the ropes. Oh, good. We go, able to uh, keep on her down. Submission hold. Here we go, Miko Asada. Big kick to the back. Big elbow, big elbow there. Elbow there, elbow there. Back and forth, we're in a scruffle now. Who's gonna win this scruffle? Looks like Miko Asada. Miko now, looking to take out Honor here in the Queendom. Miko, Irish whipping to the ropes and takes her down, you know. Um, it was thanks to Honor in the first place that Miko lost, declared the wonderful. She looks to get back at Honor here for that, as she has Honor in the prism trap, but able to get out of it early on. Miko now into the corner, into the ropes, I should say. And now Miko throws her side slam. Oh, they count a one, though. Big kick there. 
Now, both women are just in a stand deal, at a stand still, forgive me. I am recovering from a, from a uh, very great show, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Ultimate Eight. So go, again, go check that out after this. If you have not seen that yet, go check out our other stuff here on Supreme Wrestling Alliance. It won't disappoint you. Big kick there by Honor into the Mushroom Stomp. Big uppercut there by Miko Asada. Kicks her down. Here we go. Kicks and kicks. And now Crave pulled down. Oh, man. Miko is in control of this match here. Just really taking her down. And Honor able to get out of it. Nope, not yet. She's trying to fight out of it. But Miko's thighs are way too strong. Oh, wait. Honor able to get out of it into the Anaconda Vice. Anaconda Vice. Now, headlock, here we go, into it. What in the world was that? There's another headlock, takes her down, into an arm submission. And now Mika, we're, we're in a back and forth here. Oh, cross face. Oh, into a headlock by Miko. Oh, jeez, what a, what a <laughs> transition there. Super kick, here we go, rising Miko. Two, three, not two. gonna do it. Honor able to kick out. Way too early. Haven't done enough. Oh no. Jesus, pile driver. Now into that surfboard stretch. No, Miko tap out. No. Big suplex there by Honor. Cover is made. One, two, only a count of two. And now Mika. Oh, there it is. Honor hits the Royal Flush. Mika might be out of here and she is. Three count for the win. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But it was fair, it was clean. So, congrats to Honor for the win. She has something to say. Cole calling out. Lisa, the current, the former women's team. Uh oh. A lot is happening here at SWA. Well, Gabriel Ace and Koa O'Neal will be going one on one in just a few seconds. But my lord, is the heat between Ace and Hopkins ramping up. Koa made it to the second round of the Ultimate by beating his tag team partner, Zachary Hopkins. Reportedly, Hopkins and the rest of the collective haven't been in contact with each other since last night. Hopkins is also in hot war with Carmelo Young since he believes he did the attack that took him out last week. Now Gabriel Ace also wants a piece of this guy after his name was thrown in with Hopkins as the man who attacked Young. Things are not looking good for the collective. Koa O'Neal will have a uphill battle ahead of him as he takes on his former Fight. Team Ace member and Gabriel Ace. As these two lock up, Koa 
maintains wrist control. Rolls out of it. Pulls him down. Rear naked chin lock. As Koza able to break it up. Back to the wrist lock. Ooh, shoulder tackle brings him down. No cover. No pin for that cover. Nothing like suplex reverse DDT. And when you're Koa O'Neal, even Emily Rose on the outside there, your mind has to be thinking to what's going on with your tag team partner this past few months. That's been disconnected as it seems as Gabriel Ace top wrist lock yanks on it, takes him down right to the ground, maintaining that wrist control, hammer locks him and drives that knee right into the arm. Hicks him down. Ooh, Koa Clutch already in. The ace able to get out of it quickly. Not in any position to tap out at the moment. If these two are still filling out each other, those into the corner. Big back elbow. Looking to deadlift him up. Spinning back suplex. Impress the power of the young man. Is caught in the full Nelson. Chips him up. Front. Now Koa tries to do it, but hammer locks him. Once again, drives the knee right to the arm. Reverses the Irish whip. Chaos there. Chaos there just throws him. With that German suplex maintains the top wrist lock. Again, does Ace Jackson back to the ground. Oh, goes for the pin. Crucifix pin. Only one count. As the back elbow gets caught with that lariat. And Koa just smashing his head right into the mat. Repeatedly stop on the face. As these two square off. You have to think about what Young is thinking of the situation. You know he has to be watching at home. As Koa gets the better of Ace in that exchange. That right hand does the job. The Ace is already back up to his feet. Even though Ace has been friendly towards him. And seem to have common enemies now. You have to think, can you trust that man, a man that you've been fighting for most of your SWA career as Koa throws Ace into the turnbuckle with that body slam. Ooh, almost gets the win there. Lace him out with another lariat. Looking for it. Heavyweight splash. Almost. Shoulder up in the nick of time. Neck breaker as Ace looks to go back on the offensive. Knee drop. Ace, discus lariat misses, trips him up. Kick to the legs. And a big kick. Single leg front drop kick. Koa's back up, tosses him to the outside. There's Koa having planned. Big gauncha. From the big man. Count of seven, both get into the ring. Big suplex. Back to the Koa clutch. Koa clutch locked in. Once again, Ace able to break it up. Shoulder block brings him down. Twisting suplex. Iron claw hold with a pin. Only a two count. And Koa laying into him with those elbows. Back to the pin. Once again, flings him off. Off the ropes. Flying clothesline. Ace gets suplexed as he is looking for one himself. This gets Lariat. Does not land for Ace. But does land for Koa. 
Hoa off the ropes. A Steiner line. And it's been all cold for the past minute. Another one. The ace drives that knee right into the face. But Koa shakes it off. Puts it into the turnbuckle. Ace reverses discus lariat. And the former world champion tries to make it. Tries to uh, gain some momentum, excuse me. But Koa is having none of it. Big suplex. Say Saito suplex into the cover clutch. But Ace once again slips out of it. Koa still maintaining the offensive cover clutch lock back in. Ace tries the elbow right to the back of the head as these two will square off once again. And once again, Koa gets the better of Ace, this time with the left hand. Ace sends him to the corner. Sidewalk, backbreaker, pointed elbow. And Ace, sleeper hold locked in. Not for long, quickly gotten out of. But this is the spurge of momentum that Ace needs. Top wrist lock still maintaining control. Discus Lariat. Shoulder block. The Ace kicks him off. What a night it has been so far. Press slam. Just a regular one just throws him down. Some revelations has been had as Johnny Unleashed will take on. Ooh, look at this. Let drop. Unleashed will take on Axel Carter at Crimson. Big knee. Right to the side of the neck. Right underneath the jaw. Makoa is a backdrop. Two. Only a count of two. That Saito does not do it. And Koa is in control once again. He's trying to fight out of it. Body slam with the strength. Look at the power. Off the ropes. Lariat. And Koa is fired up. Discus Lariat. Ace fighting back. Ooh, Bangarang. Catches him with the Bangarang. Once again, Koa lays him out with the right hand. Trying to go again for the Northern Lights. Just blocked. Neckbreaker. Big sick kick. But Koa's already back up to his feet. Dropped him down. Prism trap. Prism trap is locked in. A dangerous submission hole to be locked in. But Koa is able to break free of it. Lays him out with the lariat back to the cold clutch. Will Ace tap out this time? He's been locked into it so many times, but no. The resilience doesn't do anything for a left hand to the back of the head. Neck breaker. Prism trapped. Locked back in. This could be all. And he gets him. Gabriel Ace gets a tap out victory. 
over Poa O'Neal. What a contest. And you think Ace will be going after Zachary Hopkins. Speaking of Zach oh. Zachary Hopkins just knocked out Gilbert Ace. Sneak attack from behind. And Emily Rose is not happy with it. Oh, right into the arm. So I'll send that right into the arm. A base. What a sickening display. Uprising will have the turn of the road to the show open challenge submissions only edition. We wonder who will be coming out to challenge him. Duff Dangerfield will be in action. Can't wait to see that man again and in the main event. Heat takes on J.R. Warren. These two egos come to blows in the main event of Uprising. But right now, let's take you to a backstage promo from Nick also. See it, Nick Awesome challenges Masato Kato for the Open Weight Championship. What exciting contest that will be. Johnny Elise take on Logan's Messenger and Alex Carter. That will be a big grudge match. And Malachi Black makes his SWA in ring debut against Hennick. These are the matches announced for Crimson but right now. It is time for the main event of the evening. A match that's been months 
end up making a rematch, I should say, as Molly Murphy tries to get some revenge on Liz Crawford. Liz and Molly had their first match together months ago on episode 45 when Zero antagonized Molly, getting her counted out. Since then, Liz has joined forces with Zero to form to form Karina. And Molly has been chasing to get a rematch with her. Now, tonight, she has that opportunity. A win overlay to put Molly into contendership for Zero's title. A loss would be a major setback from the girl from Melbourne. And another feather in the cap for Queen Dog. And recently, on the past mayhem, Zero put her women's championship on the line against Arya Fairplay. Arya, just like, just like Miko earlier in the night was distracted by honor costing her the women's championship. As we get started here, look at the athleticism as this goes for a quick cover, only gets a one count. Honor has been sort of that X factor for Queendom. As Liz reverses the Irish whip, pushes her off. Big drop kick. Both women showing off the impressive athleticism. As a body slam from Liz. Puts Molly on the ground only for a moment. Grabs control of the wrist, tugs on it. Molly kicking up just like Liz did. Liz sending her into the corner. Only to be met with a chop right to the face. Kenta Kobashi style. But Molly trying to drag her down, she does do that. Head scissor. Liz not letting go of the head scissors. And seeing Queendom's track record, you know. Either Zero or Honor has to be watching this match intently. You could possibly see them come down to aid Crawford here. As Crawford gets dragged down, drop toe hold, side headlock. It's applied, pushes her off. Drops down, hangs onto the ropes. As these two trade strikes to the left side of the ring. Molly comes out the better of the two. But Liz is back up to her feet, drops her down with that elbow strike. Butterfly suplex. Liz sends her off the ropes, hangs on to the ropes once again, does Liz, does Molly. Body splash. Snake eyes on a turnbuckle. Big boot. Leg drop. Goes for the pin, only a count of one there. Puts her down. Oh, wrestling style, but Liz counters. Molly counters her. Front face lock. Ooh, fire Miss Carry take over. Back to the back to the hammerlock. Hammerlock sir does Liz. Drop toe hold takes her down. Looking for arm bar. Just sits right on the arm. Has to mess with the shoulder. Top wrist lock back to it. Look at that British style technical wrestling able to get out of it. Side headlock. Back to the wrist lock. Tugs on it. Still maintains hold control. Breaks it. Sits over with the unique head scissors. Liz able to squeeze her way out of that. Back elbow. Face first with that bulldog. Lion salt. One. Two only, a count of two, shoulder up. Just as that two hits the mat. 
big belly to back. Back to the Texas suplex. Another Texas suplex and Molly is in control. Controls the back. Home on the top suplex. Goes for the pin. Knee on the chest. Benadryl. Benadryl connects. Two. Shoulder up. Liz is still in this match, but gets taken to the outside with that runner. Big, big springboard to the outside. And that Cobra cut suplex puts her down for the moment, but Liz is already back up. Super this time it's the slam variation. Goes for a pin. Two. Another two count. And Liz looks to be in complete control. Two slaps at the back of the head. And what's she looking for here? Moves up, lands on her feet. As these two square off. Chops. Forearms. Tosses a suck it. Put it down. Back up roll. A wheel kick. But Molly's back up first. Body slam. And Liz, she needs to be in control. Jesus. Beautiful suplex. Olympic slam. Olympic slam. Molly's back up. Arm drags her out. Ooh, I the hurricane. Another Harper Cutch suplex goes for the pin once again. Liz kicks out of it. These lackadaisical covers. Ooh, Kravat suplex could cost Molly if she's not careful and pay her DDT. Ooh, Cobra Cutch spins her out. And sends her down. Olympic slam. And these two will exchange once again. They're one for one. Looks like it's gonna be Liz. Mars back up. European uppercut. European uppercut. The LA crowd is going crazy as Molly's on the offensive. Body slam. Takes her down. Jesus. You can feel the hatred of all of those headbutts. Belly to the back. Slaps her. This is your main event. Super kick. Back up. Molly's back up. Oh, the pinning combination. This could be it. This could be it. What a two count. Gets the shoulder up. Meteora stacks her up. This could be it. Two count. Trey count says that's two. Could do it again. I had a hurricane. Ooh. Mess her up with that, that fake out. Hits the DDT. Fakes her out again. Fakes her out again. What a contest it has been. 
Rosa back up. This could be it. Two. Shoulder up. Belly to back. These two women are going all out. Back to the Cobra Cuts. Suit Cuts. Pinfall. That's not enough. What will it take? There's probably cartwheels out of that. Neckbreaker. Neckbreaker for the Starlight. But she has to maintain momentum. Sleeper suplex. These two just dropping each other on their head. No regard for each other's safety. Knee drop from Liz. Another belly to back. It seems like Liz is looking to put this one away with a super kick. Look at a stretch. Butterfly stretch, I believe this is. Butterfly hold, let's go of it. They're looking for the opportunity. Could hit it. Hits the moonsault this time. Hits the moonsault with the cover. Only a two count. Molly catches her. Rana. And she's looking to put this one away. Meteor on the ground. Two. Only a count of two. Ooh, the full Ferguson with a dragon suplex but reversed. Countered by Liz. Liz picks her up. Double slap. Sends her back down. Picks her back up. Olympic slam. Once again, sends her to the outside. But not, to not deterred. Molly is back up. European uppercut. European uppercut. Side rock slam. Camel clutch. Oma Akoa clutch locked in. But does not get a tap out. Molly maintains control. Back to the butterfly hold. Butterfly hold. A bit old school, but that one. This is Molly looking for dive. Jesus! Suicide dive to the outside. Only puts Molly on a hold for a moment. Count of 10. Count of 12 and Liz is back in the ring. No count out win for Molly. As Molly looks to roll her up. Looking to roll her up. Does not get the job done. Another suplex. And Liz has to be looking for the end. Looking for a close-up. Or an extreme one. Not looking for another back suplex, but Molly blocks it. Both women trying to gain some momentum here. Liz tosses it back to the outside. What's Liz having planned here? Concha, springboard. A big Lana. A big Lana. Neck breaker to the outside. And Liz now is looking for the count out. Strutting her stuff. But Molly's already back into the ring. Both women missed their attacks. What a main event it has been. Fourth time. Let's see who comes out on top. And it is Molly Jesus. Standing Muto right to the stomach. Meteor. Meteor cannot hold in the Meteor though. Superman punch misses. Texas suplex. Jesus. Molly's back up. I mean Liz is back up, excuse me. Another impaler. Another impaler. Does not get it done. Molly sends her into the corner. 
big German suplex, and it looks like she's setting up for the end. The main in Melbourne, and just in the nick of time, you see Zero come out right here. Aria fair play. Aria, the woman who she screwed out of the women's championship on the last uprising, made in Melbourne. Made in Melbourne. Nobody has kicked out of it, and nobody will. Molly Murphy gets the win, gets some revenge over Liz Crawford, and especially a win over Queendom and Aria Fairplay sending to zero. And Molly does she wants another title shot. And zero, just like Crawford laughs her off, doesn't see. So wants to give it to her. Molly Murphy also wants that title shot. Could we be looking for a three-way here? My goodness. New challenges for Zero's championship. Thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, stay supreme.